Hello everyone, definitely Real Deviant Crow here, back with a brand new video. Today, I want to talk about my least favorite weapon in Fortnite, the charged shotgun. What the f is this supposed to be used for? Well, I'm surprised how easy it is to hack a broadcast nowadays. Hi everyone, Deviant Crow Gen 3 here. Sorry to uh, interrupt our Deviant Crow Gen 2 imposter over there. I assure you all, Deviant Crow Gen 2 is doing just fine. But she's in hiding for now. But since I was gonna take over anyways, I might as well start taking over now. Since there's a little imposter trying to take over things. Roll that new intro. I might be the new host, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna leave old traditions behind, like having a spicy hot take. That's right, it's time for a big old bag of spicy hot takes. Everyone take one. You know how you spot out a bad critic? If they say, oh, this plot isn't original, or this thing isn't original, therefore it's a bad. Whether it's people complaining about a Disney remake that's not even out yet. I mean, to be fair, they're most likely going to be bland, but still, the movie hasn't come out yet, and there's always the slight, slight chance that they could be good, or have some aspects that are better than the original that are worth talking about. I mean, at least give credit to the Dumbo remake, at least they took out the blatant racism. Maybe do Peter Pan next. Or complaining about the numerous amounts of Marvel movies. They always seem to complain about these things happening on the basis of originality. Now, I'm not saying that originality is a bad thing. Originality could go a long way. But to be somewhat fair, just because you're original doesn't mean you're good, and yes, I know that's a sequel to a long-running series, but the concept of murder in space is still technically original. Not a good movie, though. In fact, I say there's a lot of movies out there that, although not original, are still pretty good. Hell, we were just talking about Disney remakes. The originals aren't the original either. They're based on our stories, too. A good example of that is The Lion King, which is just based on the tragedy of Hamlet. And supposedly, it's also a ripoff of Kimba the White Lion, but I call bullshit. Now, yeah, my argument kind of falls flat when you consider that, yeah, the movies aren't based on original ideals, but their takes on it are. A story about Spider-Man is not an original ideal, but it would be lying to say it's a straight adaptation of the comics. But to be fair, that's not really an argument against my argument. If anything, it supports it. Harley Quinn is a great example of this, and I know there's a certain Bat character I could also use as an example, but uh, I, I, I haven't seen a lot of Batman stuff. Her Suicide Squad appearance might not be a good character. In fact, it's not a good character at all. I think the fact that they make a mental illness a funny haha -ha quirk is kind of shitty. And yeah, I know this is from the same series where a guy beats up criminals and sends them to an insane asylum. But aside from the problematic aspects of Harley Quinn's character, if that was the only thing wrong with her, I probably wouldn't dislike her that much. The problem is she's not very interesting, captivating, or funny, at best she's annoying, and at worst she's boring. And yeah, to be fair, I have not seen Birds of Prey. Maybe they make her character better there, I don't know. But I have seen a good interpretation of Harley Quinn before. The Harley Quinn show is a really good show. It's the first time in a long while I've been able to enjoy something Batman related. Now, in hindsight, this character seems to be very, very similar to the other interpretation. It is someone based on it, of course. But where the live action version makes a stale and boring cardboard cutout, the cartoon takes it and makes a fully developed character. Not only fully developed, but a character you would actually give a shit about. But what these characters do have in common is that they're both based on the original Harley Quinn in some way. And hell, it could be argued that the live action version is more original than the modern cartoon version. I mean, come on. We all know who's stealing the f 
fucking haircut here. But as stated earlier, originality does not make something better. Although the modern cartoon version is definitely less original, it's also better. Because in the new Harley Quinn show, originality is not that important. But yet again, if you really wanted to counteract my argument, you could say that even though it isn't the original character, or even an original character at all, the interpretation is, you cannot say that this Harley Quinn is anything like the earlier cartoon version. They are completely two different characters at the end of the day. The thing that makes this character good is its new interpretation that is original. However, that would be severely missing my point. Here's another reason I kind of get pissy when people complain about Disney remakes that aren't out yet, even though most likely I'm not going to see them and most likely they aren't going to be good. The thing is, I want to see original interpretations of old ideals. Now, everyone, hold on to your seats. I'm about to give another one of those spicy hot takes. I don't like the original Lion King that much. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad movie, but it's not exactly a movie I would call one of Disney's greatest. The first half has a lot of, you know, the first half's pretty good, everyone can agree on that. But the second half kind of drags down, and I kind of wish there was a better version of this. I would very much like to see a new interpretation, even if it's not about fixing the second half and it's just an original interpretation. Now, you might be coming in and saying, uh, we did get a new interpretation of The Lion King, and it was sh But it wasn't because it was unoriginal. No, it was just poorly written and also poorly shot. Like, I would personally want to know who decided that Can You Feel the Love Tonight should take place in, you know, the middle of the f***ing day. But yet again, we can't just say that all interpretations or remakes of The Lion King would be a bad ideal because there is things to fix in The Lion King. The problem with The Lion King isn't that it's unoriginal, it's that it's bad. An attempt to use realistic CGI to distract from the fact that it's not a good movie. Forgetting the fact that good CGI stopped being impressive a while ago. Like, wow, Disney, very impressive that you had all this money to pay animators with. Now, get ready for another spicy hot take. I might be going too far with this one. This one's really spicy. If you want an example of a good Disney, Disney remake, then look no further than Aladdin. Huh? Like, no, 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 I'm not joking. I'm not shitting you all. I genuinely think the Aladdin remake is a good movie. In fact, I would say it's almost on par with the original. Sure, if I wanted to throw some criticisms, I would say that they need to get a better main lead for the role of Aladdin because I don't think he did a very good job here. And yeah, not all the CGI is great, but I don't care about CGI that much. And the ending, oh good lord, this movie definitely needed like another 30 minutes because the ending feels so rushed. And I feel like anytime it tries to emulate Bollywood, it kind of falls flat. But aside from all of that, it's a pretty good remake that does fix a lot of problems I had with the original movie. Jasmine and the Sultan, although not as fun as characters as the original, do get a bit more depth that makes them at least more interesting. This also applies to Jafar, even though, to be fair, I'll take the original any day. There was a scene where he talked about his upbringing and how he was a thief just like Aladdin. And sure, I'll take the bombastic and fun original version, but this version is still good and interesting because, well, he actually feels like a real person. I think if you want a more fun movie, then you'd go watch the original Aladdin. It's a lot more fun there. But if you want a more slightly interesting movie or a slightly more interesting take on it, then go watch the remake. But don't get me wrong, this movie isn't, you know, devoid of fun. There's still some fun in it. I think some of the musical numbers are definitely better than the original. And as if the hole I just dug up for myself wasn't deep enough, I will have to say, despite Will Smith's genie looking like a sleep paralysis demon, I will have to say, I would be very lucky to have a sleep paralysis demon as charming as him. In fact, I would go as far to say, that I kinda like this genie more than the original. Now, don't get me wrong, the original version is good, just not as good. Although the original genie has a lot of emotional moments that definitely hit much harder after, you know, he died. But despite that, I really, really don't like the pulp culture references. They come as really dated now and even back then when they were relevant. Although, to be fair, I wasn't alive when they were relevant. But even back as a kid, I didn't find them funny. And as I grow older, it's not one of those jokes that go like, 
Oh yeah, that's kind of funny. And that's a good chunk of his humor and personality. And it's not very good. Like, I get it. It's, you know, Robin Williams humor. That's what he does, but... I guess I'm just not a fan of Robin Williams humor. However, the Will Smith version gets some additional depth like most of the characters in the movie and is overall more likable. Like, I feel like I could only watch the original Genie from afar, but the new Genie I feel like I could be friends with. He has this chill but upbeat attitude that I just really like. And I was surprised that his emotional moments hit hard as well. If you haven't seen this movie and if you have Disney Plus or something else, I recommend go giving it a watch, it's not as bad as you think it is. But to go back to my original point, this movie isn't very original, yet it's very, very good. Sure, you could argue all day that it's not as good as the original, but should that really matter? I'm a person who watches movies like anyone else, to have a good time. And sure, an interesting plot that's complex helps too, because I can talk about it in my mind all day. And with saying that, I think Aladdin is a fun enough movie. And the movie ends up being worthwhile, not only because it's fun, but it's an interesting take that although makes some new flaws, also has some new fixes. And I think there's a lot of Disney movies out there that could really use a remake. I mean, yeah, maybe don't make them all live action, make some of them, you know, animated, that would be nice. But I think I've made my point very clear that originality is not important. It's what you do with those concepts and ideals that matters. Using old ideals again and reinventing them isn't a bad ideal. In fact, I would say it's somewhat original. Totally original ideals are fine, but I wouldn't mind seeing old ones get revisited and reworked. And yeah, I totally forgot to talk about sequels. Don't worry, this video is definitely getting a part two just for sequels alone and a part three to talk about video games as well. So if you wanna see that video in the future, maybe subscribe and hit that notification bell just to make sure you don't miss it. Also, if you agree with me or disagree with me and wanna go on a flame war about how Aladdin was in that good of a movie, then go ahead and comment down below. I've been Miss Deviant Crow and I'll see you all next time. And that's been my 10 minute rant on the why the charged shotgun is a bad weapon. Come back next time and I'll be I'll I'll be sure to talk about why I don't I don't I don't like you.